Welcome to the second match of the 2019 HiQ season, co-sponsored by New Horizons Credit Union and the Mobile County Public School System. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Grip, your HiQ quiz master. Today's match features high school students from Theodore, from Satsuma, and the home team, Baker. The questions you're going to hear this morning are prepared in 16 categories by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the questions equally challenging. Here's how the points were awarded. In a regular category, each team will receive its own question in that area. The teams will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. A correct answer on the first try is worth four points. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. And if a team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams up here can gain one point with a correct answer. And I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. We'll start with some questions in current events. Good luck, teams. So, Baker, this is your current events question. Brad Brown, a hospital chaplain, rescued several people from a raging inferno in Paradise, California. Give the name of this most destructive fire in California's 168-year history. Campfire? Right. Four points. Satsuma. Mamadou Gassama, nicknamed Spider-Man for climbing up four stories of an apartment building on fire and rescuing a small boy from an inferno. In what European country did this event take place on May 26, 2018? Britain. Try again. France. France is right. Three points. In fact, he received French citizenship for his heroics. Theodore. Inside the Istanbul consulate on October 2nd, this leading Saudi journalist was killed for criticizing Crown Prince Mohammed al bin, bin Sal Salam, Salman for his suppression of speech, among other things. Give the name of the U.S. newspaper for which Khashoggi worked. New York Times. Try again. Washington Post. Yes, three points. Washington Post, correct. <clears throat> We're going to change topics now and ask some questions in American history. Back to Baker. A, quote, peculiar institution was pervasive among Southern society during the 18th and 19th centuries in the United States. This institution was rooted in both racism and economic exploitation. Name the institution. Slavery. Correct. Four points. <laughs> Satsuma. The first slaves in the New World to win their freedom established a republic in 1804. Name this republic. Liberia. Try again. Libya. Try again. Baker. Sierra Leone. Try it. Sorry, Theodore. Haiti. Haiti is right. One point for Theodore. Theodore, your question. He was the youngest general in the Union Army and attended West Point. Give me the last name of this general. Arnold. Try again. Baker. Grant. No. Satsuma. McClellan. No. Custer. Oh, Custer was his name. No points. Biology is the question to Baker now. Name the organisms that break down or digest carbon containing substances to make nutrients available to other organisms. Bacteria. Try again. Decomposers. Yes. Three points. Decomposers. Very good. Satsuma, name the step in the water cycle during which the sun heats water, causing the water to re-enter the atmosphere. Condensation. Try again. Evaporation. Yes, evaporation. Three points. <laughs> Theodore, name the biogeochemical process that includes combustion, photosynthesis, respiration, and erosion.
Carbon cycle? Say it again? Carbon cycle. Yes, four points. Very good. Okay, our next question is the first toss-up of the match. It's in sports. So teams, hands on your buzzers. First team to push its buzzer answers first. Four points for a correct answer, only one answer per team. So you can buzz in whenever you think you know the answer. Here's the question. With 104 wins in the 2017 season, this Major League Baseball team led the majors. Give the name of this National League team that also won a fifth straight division title in 2017. Baker. The Dodgers? Yes, the Dodgers. Very good. Back to a regular category now. It's literature. Back to Baker. In Louis L'Amour's short story titled, Big Medicine, tell the number of grandchildren Billy, the man panning for gold in Indian territory, has in his family, which is one of the reasons he is searching for gold. Three. Try again. Six. Try again. Five. Try again. Two. Yes, two is right. One point. <laughs> I was guessing. I was guessing. I didn't know. You knew that all along, right? Definitely. Satsuma. In Tony K. Bambera's short story titled, Happy Birthday, give the type of cheese that Peter usually sent the narrator to the store to buy for him. Cheddar. Try again. Gouda. Try again. Gonzola. Try again. Swiss. No, nope. teams wait for the buzzer. Don't buzz in early. Baker. American. American cheese. Right, one point. Theodore, your question now. In Agatha Christie's short story titled, Miss Marple Tells a Story, give the last name of the man whose wife was murdered at a local hotel while he was in the adjoining room working on a book. Five seconds. Baker. Newman. No, sorry, Satsuma. Any guess, Satsuma? Smith. No, Rhodes. Mr. Rhodes is the only name given for him. No points on that. All right, we're going to change the rules now. We're going to ask some questions in math. And as you can see, the shot clock has changed to 60 seconds instead of 15. And every team gets a copy of every question for possible bonus points. So first question goes to our home team, Baker. So everyone open your yellow math envelopes, please. If two similar cones have volumes of 8 cubic centimeters and 27 cubic centimeters, respectively, and if the surface area of the larger cone is 81 square centimeters, what is the surface area of the smaller cone in square centimeters? Thirty seconds left for Baker to give four possible answers. Twenty-four. Try again. Eleven. Try again. Sixteen. Try again. Thirty-two. Sorry. Wait for the buzzer teams. Satsuma or Theodore, if you know the answer. Satsuma's first. 12. Sorry. Theodore. 4. 36. 36. You were close, Baker. You were close. All right. Next math question goes to Satsuma. Everyone open your red math envelopes, please. Each interior angle of a regular octagon measures how many degrees?
160. Try again. Seventy. Try again. Eighty. Try again. Eighty-one. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. You have eleven seconds to wait. <laughs> Baker. One thirty-five. That's right. One thirty-five. Correct. Next math question goes to Theodore, so everyone open your blue math envelopes. A circle has a radius of six inches. What is the area in square inches of the sector of the circle that has a central angle of 45 degrees? Give your answer as a decimal multiplied by pi. Four point five pi. That's right. Very good. Four points. All right, we're finished with geometry questions for now. We'll go back to a regular category. This time it's Shakespeare. Back to Baker. In Act Two of Henry the Fourth, Part One, Falstaff complains loudly and often that he is exhausted because one of his companions hid something from him. Identify that hidden item. Horse. That's right, four points. Satsuma. In Act Two of The Winter's Tale, one character alludes to the title by remarking, A sad tale's best for winter. I have one of the sprites and goblins. Name this character. Mamilius. Right, very good, four points. Theodore. Early in Act Two of As You Like It, Duke Sr. suggests that he and his followers should hunt for food. Name the specific meat that he hopes to obtain. Deer. That's right, or a venison, four points. Now it's geography to Baker. An independent island nation sits in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. It's located just south of Turkey and west of Syria. Name this island nation. Cyprus. That's right. Four points. Satsuma. In the northern African country of Algeria, the population is densest near its capital city which lies adjacent to the Mediterranean Sea. Name this capital city. Algiers. That's right, four points. And Theodore. The largest mountain chain in northwestern Africa runs through the Mediterranean nations of Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. Name this mountain chain. Five seconds. Baker. Atlas. That's right, the Atlas Mountains, correct. All right, halfway through our competition, Satsuma has 14, Theodore has 16, Baker is in the lead with 27 points. At Mobile County Public Schools, we believe it starts with us. That's why we offer Signature Academies. Hello, I'm Jordan Clark, and I'm in the Health Service Academy at John L. LaFleur Magnet High School. My future career is to be an obstetrician gynecologist. With this academy, I'm learning firsthand from people already working in the industry. Shadowing them on the job really makes me want to study hard and work harder towards my career goals. Signature Academies are open to all students in Mobile County Public High Schools. Visit mcpss.com. New Horizons Credit Union has been serving its members and the community since 1950. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of the arts, civic activities, local charities, and higher education. 
including sponsoring annual scholarship opportunities open to all high schools. Visit New Horizons online at newhcu.org to learn about upcoming supported events that help make this area a great place to live. New Horizons Credit Union, offering its members solutions for the real world. Okay, we're ready to start the second half of our competition. We have a very good match going for our second match of the 2019 season. Good luck to all of our teams. We'll start with a new category called chemistry. We'll start with Baker. State the bond order of nitrogen in dinitrogen. Triple covalent. Try again. Double covalent. Try again. Double. Try again. Okay, Satsuma or Theodore? Satsuma. Single covalent? What was it? Single covalent? No. Theodore? Nope. The only answer I could accept was three. Bond order of three. Satsuma. Give the name of the colorless gas produced by reaction hydrofluoric acid with silica. Carbon monoxide? No. Carbon dioxide? Try again. Uh, Theodore? Hydrogen gas. No. Baker? Oxide. Uh, no. Silicon tetrafluoride, mm. that's what we're looking for. Theodore, state the name of the ion which reacts with ox oxalic acid in the body to form kidney stones. Iron? Try again. Phosphate. Try again. Baker? Calcium. Calcium is right. One point. <laughs> Move to art history now. Back to Baker. This artist appeared on the American art scene at the end of the 1950s and was part of the neo-Dada art movement. It was a time of renewed interest in using commonplace objects and fragments of everyday life in artwork. Give me the last name of this artist who used painting to reproduce common objects that reflected the ways of contemporary society as seen in his work titled Three Flags. Duchamp. Try again. Andy Warhol. Nope. Glass. No, try again. One more. Okay, Satsuma or Theodore? No, I could see where you might say Andy Warhol until I said three flags and it was Jasper Johns. Jasper Johns. Satsuma. This type of figurative art in America was vibrant and not confined by the boundaries of a frame or limited by the size of a canvas. The style had clear associations with pop art and can be found on city walls and subway trains of New York City and other cities. Give the name of the style of art practiced by such artists as Crash and Jean-Michel Basquois. Graffiti. That's right. Four points. Theodore. Designed by Jorn Utzon, this opera house is distinguished by its unusual series of shell-shaped roofs fanning out from a broad platform. In profile, they resemble wind-filled sails ready to skim over the glistening waters of the harbor of which it's located. Give the name of this famous opera house. Sydney Opera House. That's right, the Sydney Opera House. Very good. Time for a new category. It's team choice. Before our match began this morning, each team chose the subject it wanted to be quizzed on. It's four points for a correct answer, but here there's only one answer per team. And teams, if I rule the original team's answer wrong, you can buzz in immediately and get two points instead of just one. So, Baker, you chose history. Again, just one answer. At the height of the debate over slavery in new territories, 
there was a conciliation proposed in Congress that passed after months of debate. This balancing act offered concessions to both the northern anti-slave states and the southern pro-slave states and was delicately signed in 1850. Name this proposal that allowed, included allowing California in the Union as a slave state but also created a more stringent fugitive slave law. Compromise of 1850? Correct. Four points. Satsuma, you chose Shakespeare. Again, just one answer. In Act Two of Othello, the forces sent from Venice arrive at Cyprus. Name the character who commands the first vessel to arrive. Camilio. Sorry. Baker or Theodore, you can buzz in if you know the answer. Baker. Cassio. Cassio is right. Oh <laughs> All right, Theodore, you chose geography. One answer here. Between the African country of Tunisia and the European country of Italy lies a narrow body of water connecting two larger portions of the Mediterranean Sea. Name this strait. Strait of Gibraltar? No. Baker. Strait of Sicily? Yes, the Strait of Sicily is correct. Two points. Two points. All right. Everybody hands on your buzzers. First team to push its buzzer answers first. In Tony K. Bambera's short story titled Raymond's Run, identify the number the narrator was given to pin on her shirt the day of the May Day race at her... Baker. Seven. Seven is right. Four points. Now a new topic. Physics. State the name given to the condition whereby the net force on an object is zero, or mathematically, the sum of the forces on the object is zero. Static equilibrium. Try again. Equilibrium. Try again. Rest. Try again. Zero. Nope. Theodore. Constant velocity? No. Satsuma. Static? No. Mechanical equilibrium. I needed that full term. Satsuma. State the name unit of measurement of electric charge in the international system of units. Volts. Try again. Hertz. Try again. Joules. Try again. Ohms? Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. Baker. Coulomb? Coulomb is right. One point. Oh. I swear we should have Theodore, here's your question in physics. State the name given to a collision in which the momentum, but not the kinetic energy, is conserved. Deflection. Try again. Baker. Inelastic collision. That's right. Very good. One point. Topic is American government. Back to Baker. Until the 2016 election, this man was the oldest person to take the oath of office at the age of 69 in 1981. Give me the last name of this president. Reagan. Right. Ronald Reagan. Four points. Satsuma. The Constitution created three branches of the United States government. The executive branch and the judicial branch are two of the branches. Give the name of the third. Legislative. That's right. Four points. Theodore. Give the last name of George Bush's national security advisor who helped bring democratic reforms to Poland and played a vital role in crafting many policies with the former Soviet Union. McCarthy. Try again. <laughs> 
Satsuma. Powell. No. Baker. Cheney. No. Condoleezza Rice. Oh. Condoleezza Rice. No points. World history to Baker. In 2003, a U.S. space shuttle disintegrated upon re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, killing everyone on board. This tragedy raised serious questions about the value of the space program. Give the name of the space shuttle. Challenger. Try again. Columbia. Columbia. Three points. Right. Columbia. Challengers. First one. Satsuma. Throughout much of its history as an independent nation, the Philippines have suffered under governmental corruption. Perhaps the worst of these corrupt rulers was freely elected in 1965, but soon made himself a dictator, amassed a huge fortune at the expense of his people, and extended his rule beyond the eight-year time limit by declaring martial law, allowing him to govern the country for more than 20 years. Give me the last name of this corrupt dictator. Marcos. Right, Ferdinand Marcos, four points. And Theodore. Political stability in Mexico was threatened in 1994 by a major peasant uprising in one of the country's southern states. Give the name of this state. Five seconds. Baker. Yucatan. No. Satsuma. An answer? No. Chiapas is the answer we need. No points. We're down to the last question in today's contest. It's a math question worth four points, and teams get a copy of every question. So open your math envelopes now, your white math envelopes. Find x if 25% of 40% of x is equal to 9. Baker. 90. That's right. Four points. Wait. So our final score today, Theodore with 20, Satsuma with 26, today's big winner, Baker with 53 points.